Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Aldrich. I am the executive director of the Clark Forum for Contemporary Issues at Dickinson College, and this is Poetry 2 Plus 1. Our guest today is Tatum Mann, a young poet from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Tatum, welcome and thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tatum is joining us today uh, from Delaware, although she is currently a student at Temple University pursuing a degree in English. Tatum has uh, two poetry publications to date. Her first, called These Two Hands, is available on Amazon. And her second chapbook, Stir Crazy, is available on her website, the details of which can be found in the description of this video below. So Tatum, I think without anything further, I'm gonna uh, turn it over to you. We're really looking forward, forward to listening to your poetry. Thank you so much. Um, so the first poem that I'm going to be reading comes from uh, my most recent publication, which again is called Stir Crazy. Um, this poem is one of the final pieces in the chapbook um, and it is designed in the format of Fibonacci sequence, which is a famous mathematical formula. So each stanza has um, the corresponding line numbers with the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence. Um, so it goes one, one, three, five, etc., until the poem finishes. Um, it's called Divine Physics, parentheses, a garden. It's sun showering when he calls. Raindrops are catching light, gaining speed and plummeting from the cypress leaves like small stars. He has to talk to me about numerology, divine physics, the Fibonacci sequence. He's been reading da Vinci's journals. He thinks that he's going insane. The golden ratio composes our worlds, he says, citing rates of population growth and decline, the shell of his hermit crab who last week died, he insists on the balance of destruction for creation, the shape of the uterus, crushed obsidian. We talk about starting a garden, its soil tended by the golden guidance of numbers as much as our own hands. We want to grow practical plants, all in perfect sequence, rows of aloe, its leaves fanning out from within itself, chamomile and sunflower seeds spiraling, spiraling neatly inward, and all the bees buzzing back to their hives. The rain halted, air crisp. I traipsed down the porch, porch steps to the nearest puddle, dipped my foot into it. Ripples appear and tumble toward their small shores, concentric circles expanding and falling toward the golden mean, disrupting only my reflection on its murky surface, and above me, the cypress trees. And then this next poem I'll be reading is um, currently unpublished. It's one of the more recent things that I've written, which I'm hoping to include in um, a new publication sometime in the coming months. Um, and it's about leaving somewhere that you don't feel ready to leave. Um, it's called Satsuma in December. Satsuma, if you don't know, is a citrus fruit, which grows in the South, particularly New Orleans. It's very similar to an orange, they're delicious. So Satsuma in December. An early orange sun ripens over New Orleans like Satsuma. It is winter, I am leaving this place. Was it the place that failed me or was it me who failed the place? Was it a failure at all or simply a loss? a black eye, a skinned knee. I like satsuma, pistachios, crawfish, because I like to work for my sustenance. I like to pick a good thing into pieces, peel away its layers until my fingertips are raw. All my life, I have been practicing this patience before the devouring. All my life, saying grace as my mouth is watering. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, this final poem that I'll be reading is by James Tate. 
and it is called Consumed. And I just think that it is appropriate for the times we're currently living in. Why should you believe in magic? Pretend an interest in astrology or the tarot. Truth is, you are free. And what happens to you today, nobody knows. And your personality may undergo a radical transformation in the next half hour. So it goes. You are consumed by your faith in justice, your hope for a better day, the rightness of fate, the dreams, the lies, the taunts. Nobody gets what he wants. A dark star passes through you on your way home from the grocery. Never again are you the same. An experience which is impossible to forget, impossible to share. The longing to be pure is over. You are the stranger who gets stranger by the hour. Thank you. Thank you. And I, that was uh, very well chosen. I think you're absolutely right about that being uh, very appropriate for these times. So yeah. For that reminder, and thank you for reading. Tatum, it's been really a pleasure to have you on Poetry 2 Plus 1. We look forward to your uh, next publication and all your future work. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.